So, so we have been working on using haptic, so the vibration, as a means to communicate to the user. And we have developed a couple of haptic language effects, meaning that in this case it's a stylus. The user who touches our little actuator that you can see here implemented into this little uh, stylus can feel information without hearing any beeping or without needing to watch any screen. It enhances the interaction with computer programs. And in fact, studies have shown that people can differentiate up to 85 different vibrational effects without any learning. And we are tapping into that fact uh, and leverage it using our technology to communicate haptic effects. So what, what we show here is that when I, and I push here the different effects on the screen, you can see like an effect, oh, this feels a little bit like love, it's something nice, this is, uh, oh, this is bad. And it's something that is communicated just by me touching the surface here. Now, what, what does this do for gamers actually? Well, when you imagine a game, uh, there's, a, there's an effect that shows you, well, there's some, some bad guys approaching you. So you can't see him on the screen, you can't hear him yet, but you get some hints through the haptic feel. Or there's an indication that says, well, now your, your energy is running out. Uh, arousal down is one of the effects that we developed here. I can actually feel that without needing to watch a little indicator on the screen or needing to hear anything. And that is an additional audible, is an additional channel to the audible and the visual channel that you get to use when you use haptic feedback. Now, of course, this is only possible with our technology because you need to have very distinct haptic vibrational effects. You cannot just do this with any motor. A motor just gives you one frequency and it's boring, it's uh, the same thing all over, and you cannot communicate through that. You can just give an alert. Okay, so what you see here is a, is a disassembled headphone that has our actuator shown here inside. Um, and it has a little mass that moves, and of course the speaker, the ear cushion, and it all goes together and then looks like a complete headphone. Hi, this is Art Muir. I'm uh, with Vivitouch. We're here at CES showing the just announced uh, Tivitus Sinister Unit. It takes the best uh, features of a mouse and keyboard game in that you have a mouse, but it gives you uh, the advantages of having a controller rather than a keyboard. Um, so this device is, is uh, fairly unique in that it has uh, Vivitouch high definition haptics here in the palm rest. Um, it's got the ability to have hot swap controls. So these little guys right here just plug and play in real time. And I can just drop them in like that and they, they instantly remap themselves. So if you've got a particular layout that you'd like where you'd want to put your, your joystick here instead of there, this unit allows you to do that. Um, it's got a number of mouse pass-through modes, so you can use your computer for normal use and then just jump right back into gaming and you don't have to re remake connections and things like that. Um, it's uh, got a number of different configuration options. This is an early prototype, but it, it, it suits different hand sizes and, uh, and again, because you've got the, the option to swap the switches around, you can really put the controls just wherever you want. And uh, we're really looking forward to, to working with the Tivitas team on this product.